here I'm going to show you how to set up the buddy awning. Here I've got the, I'm going to put up the front and the two side panels, so we're going to make a full enclosure. You don't always have to do that, you can have it so you do just half an enclosure, or you can just put the front up, or just one side, but I'm going to do all three. So the first thing I'm going to be putting up is the front panel, nice and simple. That just slides into your rail on the front of your wind-out canopy. That's all slid in, nice and easy. If it was a slightly windier day, you could put a couple of pegs in loose, but as we're not today, I'm not going to do that. So then I'm going to go on to your side panel. So each side panel, we've already done the initial setup. So we've put all your brackets in, which we've also done a video on. We've got the magnets on from the first initial setup. So now to put the side panel up, we're just going to slide the pole through the sleeve on the side panel. all the way to the back where you've got the bracket. And at this point, while it's at a manageable height, I'm gonna get the bracket into the roof pole ever so slightly, just to save me doing that in the air. And then I'll come back down to the front and slide the thinner pole through. And again, whilst it's at ground level, I'm going to quickly attach the bracket to the front with the Velcro, which is there for when we attach the pad. So slide that through the brass eyelet and push that firmly into the end of the pole. Now we're ready to lift the panel into place. Again, there's two different ways of doing this. I have got the whole panel in. If you wanted to, you can unzip the whole side panel to just leave this around just to make it slightly lighter. I'm going to take that up to the canopy, press it against at the back, and then bring the front bracket to the front of the box canopy. And now you're ready to tension out the pole. And you want to try and get a lot of tension into this pole, because you may have seen at the halfway point on the carbon pole, it's got a spring. And that spring is designed to be closed up, but then if there is movement on the canopy, it's meant to move with the canopy to make sure that there's always tension into that pole. Then we're gonna go on to the second side. We're gonna do it exactly the same again. Slide the pole towards the back. And again, fit the bracket and the sleeve into the pole. Slide the inner pole to the front. And again, fit your bracket with the Velcro. Sure, the bracket is firmly against the front of the canopy. And again, putting plenty of tension onto the roof pole. So that is the initial setup. Now we just need to connect the two side panels to the front, and then when away we can go pegging. And the front and the sides simply attach with a zip. And this is like a gusset or uh, a buffer pad. That is mainly there for if you have a deeper canopy. A common 
thing that people will try and do is try and wrap that gusset around the leg pole, but you actually want it on the inside. So then that won't let any rainwater come in. We go on to the other side and attach the front and the side together. And now you're ready to peg the awning. And as with any awning, we'll always start at the back of the vehicle on, this, on the side panels. On the buddy, you've got this triangle bit of material. This will always be your first pegging point. And you want to try and get that seam parallel with the ground and this pegging point underneath the vehicle. That will give you your starting pegging point. Make sure all your zips are shut. On the buddy, you've got uh, adjustable pegging points. That is so it's because it's designed to go on various different height motorhomes. So you've got the long skirt. That just makes sure you can get uh, tension onto the pegging points. Whilst I'm at this point here, I'll do these pegging points, the two here. Because we've got a zip, we'll always cross over the pegging points. Now we'll go to the front of the side panel. Pull that straight in line with the, the first pegging points that you've done here. Now at this point, I'll leave the other pegging points and go and do the other side, exactly the same way as I've just done that one there. To the front of the side panel and making sure it's straight and then onto the front lay a few pegs out The, the front will peg straight down from the canopy, so just making sure it's in line there. Again, I'll do one at either end to make sure there's tension. Fill in the gaps. And by doing the pegging the way we've done it, in the, mainly in the four corners, the way we do it, it gives it a straight line all the way around. And 
And with the buddy, you have got designated door areas. So you can see the panel here. So what I'm going to do at the door area, I'm going to angle this pegging point. By doing that, what that means is when I open that door, the panel will still be nice and taut. there so it's ensuring that panel is still nice and tight then your final uh, attachments you have got the magnets so inside this foam pad there are metal plates you always want to put the magnets on after you've pegged and that is just going to secure if you're tall enough secure the side to the roof just to stop that flapping around it's not a complete seal but it just means that roof material won't be flapping around and finally inside the awning you've got this foam pad as you can see you have got a small gap here without using this foam pad and that's why we put this velcro with the brass eyelet on in the initial setup so you'll stick that pad to the velcro and that is just going to seal up that that gap and you'll do that on the opposite side and that's it that's your buddy all set up ready to go